I lost track of time on that video, so I'm not quite sure how far it got through. I assume we got through to part C. If it isn't, just follow that through. If it's an issue, then just get in contact. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so my holidays are over. I need to wake up and keep checking the time while I'm doing this. Right, so there's a question for you. So just kind of making sure you're okay in it, because I've got no idea how much of example three you're actually, actually talking. Um, right, so let's have a look. So we know A is 32. I told you that R was a term divided by the one before there. So if you do that in your calculator, it gives you minus three quarters. Mm, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. So the first question wants the ninth term. So un is a part to the n minus 1, and 9 is 32 times by minus 3 quarters to the power n minus 1, so to the power 8. So the 9 is, oh, according to the calculator, well, according to the computer, sorry, 3.4027, so 4 sub p. There you go. Uh, the nth term, so like an algebra thing, so un is 32 times by uh, minus 3 quarters to the n minus 1. So Martin like, left it like that. I'm going to be a bit sneaky. Let's just see what we get out if we do some algebraic manipulation with it. So the minus three quarters to the power minus one is actually multiplying by minus four over the third. So I mean the question is not asking for this, but it's just a mark to, to see it. So what have we got here? So the 32 don't and the three don't cancel down. So I've got 64, 1, 2, 8 over 3 times by minus three quarters to the power. Like I say, the completed part just stops on that there. But you might have to do some algebra manipulation where you're using the rules to split it up. So it's nice to see that. Uh, last bit, sum of the first n terms. So sum of the first eight. So r is minus three quarters, so I can use the, the one minus r formula. So some of the first eight terms is 32, 1 minus, minus 3 quarters to the 8, is that right? 1 minus, minus 3 quarters. Stick it in your calculator, and according to Martin, it is 16.46. Uh, so you get 4, p. There you go. We'll be on here three minutes. Cool. Well, let's have a look at these two examples then. So it tells you that the second term of the sequence is 4. So u2 is 4. It tells you the fourth term is 8. So u4 is 8. Right then, so I want to find the common ratio on the first term first. So let's create two equations and see what we can do then. So using the formula, which is un is ar to the n minus 1, u2 is ar, and that's equal to 4. u4 will be ar cubed, and that's equal to 8. Now what I want to do, I want to stick this bit into here somehow. And there's a few different ways of doing it. What I like, I quite like this little bit of sneakiness here, that the AR cubed is AR times by R squared. So this 4 is AR. So I've got 4, R squared is 8, R squared is 2, so r is plus or minus the square root of 2. Now it says, it says, it says, it says, 
So in both cases, all the terms are positive. So I want to be multiplying by a positive number, don't I? If I multiply through with by a negative, it's going to switch. So therefore, R is root 2. So I've got R as root 2. So now I want the first term. So I knew that, that AR is 4. So A lots of root 2 is 4. So A there. So if I kind of serve that up, it should give me 2 root 2. Because 4 is 2 times 2. So it's root 2 squared times 2. So it'll be, oops, oh, that's most of it then. So A is 2 root 2. There we go. All right, so that's my A done. So I've done A and B. A and B. So let's look at C now. So I want the tenth term. So U10. So UN is AR to the N minus 1. So U10 is, uh, what was it? What was it? What was the first term? 2 root 2, wasn't it? 2 root 2 times by R is root 2 to the 10 minus 9. So it's quite sneaky this. If you look at this bit here, if you do a little bit of algebra here, you've actually got root 2 instead of power 10. But root 2 times root 2 is 2. So that's actually 2 to the power 5. So what I've actually got, I've got 2 times 2 to the power 5. So u10 is actually 2 to the power 6. Uh, which is 64. There you go. Who doesn't like a bit of algebra? Definitely keeping an eye on these uh, this time here. We've got three minutes left. Generate the first three terms. So if k is 1, 3 times 2 is 6. If k is 2, 3 times 4 is 12. If k is 3, 3 times 8. So this is the k value there, is 24. So I can see a is 6, r is 2. This one's the sum of the first 10 terms, because it's going from 1 to 10. So r is 2, so I'm going to use r to the n minus 1, r minus 1. Sum of the first 10 terms is, check the time, 7.1, doing all right? 2 to the power 10 minus 1, 2 minus 1. And sum of the first 10 terms is 6138. There's a question for you here. So I'll pause it and I'll write it out and then we'll restart it, but hopefully you'll just kind of go. There you go. So there's a question for you. The first three terms are 15, 75, 375. So A is 15, R is 5, because you're multiplying by 5 to get B. Then I use the formula with the r minus 1 on the bottom to keep it positive on the bottom. I mean, like I say, it doesn't matter, but if you, you know, if you get used to it, it makes it easier in algebra one. Right, I'm on 8 minutes 35 and I've got a big problem solving one to do. So I'm not going to start a new video for this one, okay? Right then. Um,